Hey yo, what's crackalackin' everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title, yes sir, the boy did it. I did open up a restaurant and we are gonna be jumping into that in a little bit. But guys, take a look around. You guys see where I'm at? I am at my brand new condo, which I will give you guys a little tour of that as well right before we jump into the restaurant. But guys, I wanted to give you guys a little update of what's been going on in my life and just kind of be a little bit more transparent with you guys because I do read the comments, all right? I do see the comments that are flying in, Bongo, where you been? I haven't seen this guy forever. I kind of forgot this guy existed. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry, but life, all right? Life happens and unfortunately, it kind of, you know, wraps you up and spits you out and chews you up and throws you back up and down like a basketball, but it doesn't matter because I'm here to kind of open up, give you guys a little bit of backstory as to where I've been and what I've been up to and why you guys haven't really been seeing me on YouTube as much. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my condo and then I'm gonna take you guys down to the restaurant I just opened up. But before we get all that started, let me jump into the story. So to get this story started, back in 2018, early 2018, your boy was vibing, all right? Me and the boys from Albo were doing so well on YouTube. Everybody was having a blast. Everybody was doing so well everybody was excited for the future now like the bozo I am I unfortunately had a few personal problems that I was going through unfortunately some of those problems guys really took a toll on my mental health all right unfortunately I wasn't feeling like myself I wasn't excited to film I just had no motivation to kind of force myself to be happy just so that I could turn around a video and you know put it up on YouTube and kind of maintain. Now the problem that starts is when you don't upload as often you obviously lose a little bit of traction on YouTube which I was okay with at the time. I was totally okay with losing the traction just so I can get my mind right. Ultimately I wasn't feeling good whatsoever and I would just wake up feeling hella drained and I would not want to get out of bed until like 2 or 3 in the afternoon and I just wasn't feeling like myself guys and every single day I was arguing on the phone and I just was going through a very 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 bad situation that I'm so happy is over with now but ultimately in 2018 guys I was kind of going through that entire shindig of like emotional roller coasters and I just wasn't feeling like myself so near the middle of 2018 I decided to start traveling now if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys saw me and the boys travel a bunch in 2018 we went all over the place we went to Jamaica we went to Cancun we went to Amsterdam to Europe to Lebanon we went a bunch of places Thinking that that was going to help me out, to be honest. I went on these trips thinking that I'm going to clear my mind and just kind of find a new light on what's going on and, and feel like myself again. And on those trips, I really did want to film. I did want to take the camera out. I did want to vlog. I did want to do a bunch of these little segments. But unfortunately, even on these trips, I just wasn't feeling like myself. And the trips would conclude and they would end. And all of a sudden, I'm back in Ottawa. And I was just falling into a vicious cycle of like emotional distress. I just wasn't feeling good. I wasn't doing as well on YouTube anymore because I wasn't uploading because I was going through this whole emotional thing. And then it just translates into me not being transparent with everyone. And ultimately that just turns into like, a, oh my God, where is Bongo and what's he been up to? So about midway through 2018, I decided, you know what? Maybe Ottawa isn't the place for me. I'm fortunate enough to be able to get up and move. I'm not really restricted to a schedule. So I decided to get up and go visit Charlie in LA. And for me, I found that to be a great emotional escape. I would get out of Ottawa, the one place I didn't really want to be in, the one place I really didn't want to run into certain someone. So I picked up and left to LA and while I was in LA guys, I was having the time of my life. I was feeling like myself again. I was finally, I was finally getting back into the groove of things and with Charlie there, it helped so much because Charlie really kicked me in the ass and, and kind of set me straight and helped me out with filming videos and was just that friend that was ready to talk and ready to help out at any given time. So for that, shout outs to Charlie. Then time progressed guys and as time progressed, we are now diving into 2019 where Charlie started doing his music stuff and I was so excited for that. I was with Charlie 
pretty much every single day in Los Angeles and we traveled over to Miami and went to Toronto a bunch and went all over the place to work on his music and that was fantastic for me. That was finally something that I can release all my emotional distress, finally some place that I can escape and feel like myself again. I was happy doing what I was doing. I was happy helping Charlie with his songs and his album and just everything that was going on was absolutely inspiring to me. So I was feeling like myself again. So I had spent pretty much the entirety of 2019 over in LA. I kind of avoided Ottawa like the plague. I didn't want to be here. But finally I was in a mood again. I was in LA, everything was going fine. And I found myself to be a little bit happier and I was excited to start filming again. Then in March, in March of 2020 guys, I don't want to say the word, but I think you guys all know what happened. March 2020, a lot of things took a turn to the left. Some people took a turn up and down. It just took a turn everywhere. The world as we know it flipped upside down and nothing was the same again. No drizzy. And unfortunately, Charlie and I's music endeavors kind of just stopped. We had to come back to Ottawa in March and I found myself in the weirdest spot. Here I am back in the one place I don't ever want to be and now I'm stuck here. I can't go back to LA. I can't really travel. I was living in my mom's basement for a few weeks and I was like, dude, what is going on? Where am I going? I just spent all this time trying to feel like myself again and that's all crumbling. It's all crashing and burning. I am not there anymore. So I was starting to feel down on myself again. But I tried to stay optimistic. I thought it was only gonna last a month and then March turned to April and April turned to May and May turned to June and all of a sudden, yeah boy is still in Ottawa. I was now at this point living back with my brothers. I still didn't really have a place to stay. I was in between wanting to go to LA and wanting to stay here and I just did not know what I was doing whatsoever. Then finally guys, in July of this year, I don't know what happened to be honest, but I linked up with a good friend of mine, my business partner Yusuf, and he started to give me all these ideas about where I should be taking my YouTube channel and how I should be filming my videos. And one thing led to another, and before you know it guys, we kind of jumped into something that none of us were expecting. We ended up opening up a restaurant together. Now, that being said, I am not giving up on my YouTube dreams, all right? This video is to just kind of give you guys an update of where I've been, what I've been up to, and why I haven't been uploading as much as I've been uploading, but I did open up the restaurant in the beginning of October, which was just a couple months ago, I moved into this brand new condo you guys see, and I am finally, finally feeling like myself again. I feel stoked to wake up every single day. I'm happy to see what's going on at the restaurant. I'm excited to finally film. I find myself these days looking at video ideas and writing more video ideas down and being finally excited to film again, which is crazy news for me because two years ago, when I was going through this whole emotional roller coaster, I didn't think that I was gonna pick the camera back up. I did not think that I was gonna sit here and do this video. I didn't think that I was gonna do any of this. I was totally fed up with YouTube. I was totally fed up with feeling down. I just wanted to be happy again. So that is why I took a break off YouTube. That is why I left to LA. That is why you guys didn't see much of me. I just needed a break. I mentally was not there. But finally, guys, after, I guess it takes a year or so of, you know, a lot of deep thought and a lot of concentration and a lot of inspiration from a lot of different people. But finally, I am feeling like myself again and I'm so stoked to finally get filming again. This is where I wanted to be, all right? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do read all the comments and I do see a lot of negative comments like, oh, this guy fell off, this guy is, where's this guy been? I low-key forgot about this guy. That's fine. That's okay because ultimately you're still watching the video and you're still commenting. So you couldn't have forgotten about me that much. But that being said, you guys better strap your seatbelts because your boy Bongeezy is going to be filming a lot more videos. Like I said, guys, finally we are back. The Baker's Man is back. All I got to say is thank you to whoever's been rocking with me since day one. I honestly appreciate you guys. I do see your comments too. And when I had just uploaded my last video, guys, you can click up here, up here to check out the video. I don't know which one it is. But when I uploaded my last video, the amount of comments of just pure support and people being excited to see me again, that is what warms my heart up. And that is what kind of gives me the drive to keep doing it because I do know 
as a YouTuber, I kind of have this social responsibility to portray happiness and portray a, a joyful time and I never wanted to be the guy to bring anything negative to YouTube which is kind of the reason why I kept to myself and I wasn't really open with everyone and I didn't really do a good job of like telling everybody what I was going through but at the same time I just felt like maybe I should keep this to myself work on myself and grow as a better person and see where I'm at in, in a few months but ultimately guys here we are and we are ready to rock and roll so Enough of the sob story. Let me give you guys a quick tour of my condo first and then we are gonna take you guys down to super salads. You see the vibes. I got the super salads, bro. All right, what kind of tour doesn't start outside? But here we go, boom! This is the entrance to the condo. Boom, front door, entrance, you see the vibes. All right, little zigzag. Guest bathroom right over here. So, it's so a little guest bathroom slash my roommate's bathroom. You guys are gonna get to know my roommate a bunch more because, let's be honest, he might be in a couple of videos. My shoe collection, still alive and well, guys. Banging, you see the vibes, lots of shoes. I need to organize that. It's kind of a mess, all right? Don't judge me, it's kind of a mess. We got the washer dryer vibing in here. You already see the vibes. Continuing on. Oh, nobody's in the room. This is my roommate, Steph's room. He's got the LED vibes, you see the vibes. All right, anyway, enough of this room. Now, moving on to the main attraction, the living room vibes, all right? Now, you see the living room, your boy got the floor to ceiling windows because I need to vibe out. The thing I like the most about this condo, guys, is the fact that there is so much lighting, all right? The lighting for me was huge, not so much for filming, but just so much for like emotional wellness, honestly. Like, it, it's so inspiring to wake up Look outside, see the sunshine, see what's going on outside. It was just, for me, it was a major key and an instant, instant cop. Like, I had to cop. Now, the next biggest thing about the condo, the next selling point, the one that sold me, you see the vibes, all right? The DIY kitchen with the big dutty island. Everything's vibing, guys. This is where all my videos are gonna be taking place from now on. But here it is, guys, the DIY kitchen. I got my little TV set up. All right, this TV used to be in my room. I'll take you guys to my room in a bit. Oh, happy birthday, because it was my birthday. Don't forget, chill me out. All right, I also have a little balcony, and they've been building this building for the last little bit, guys. Mad annoying, but you know, no, you gotta do what you gotta do. When you are living downtown, you just gotta deal with some noises. Now, finally, my favorite part of the condo, obviously, my bedroom. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Holy oh, smokes, it is messy. All right, there, there it is, folks. It's needs super messy. Milk. It is what it is. All the events that I've been to, um, I'm working on it. My play button, which one day will be a big dutty gold one, guys. You know the vibes. But it is a super extreme mess. This is how I live my life. Organized chaos in my room. Nice and neat outside. All right, chaos in the bedroom. Neat outside, chaos in the bedroom. It's okay. Guys, I also have my own bathroom. We've got a little stand-up shower. Also, a mess. I'm sorry, it is what it is, guys. I told you, it's a bit of organized chaos. But there is a quick tour of my condo, all right? Now again, like I've been saying, I am gonna be filming a lot more videos in the future. So you guys are gonna be seeing this place a lot more. And again, I'm finally excited to be filming a lot more videos. But enough of this malarkey. Let's get to the reason why you guys clicked this video. We're off to super Super salads. My own restaurant that I opened up here in Ottawa, Ontario. The one place that I thought I would never want to be again. Who knew? Yeah, and if you guys are wondering, if you guys are wondering, I still got the beaver with the red guts, Jed. Right, let's get into this bad boy. It's been a minute. German engineering. Now, since we are on our way to Super Salads, and the people with the red guts, don't ever play yourself. I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory on how it all went down, how Yusuf and I linked up, why things moved so quickly. But ultimately, guys, like I was saying earlier, pretty much this summer, I kind of went through this whole epiphany stage where I just, I knew something had to change, and I knew I had to maybe shift my dynamic a little bit from dreaming about going back to LA or staying put here in Ottawa and doing something 
something that is a little bit different than what I'm used to. So like I was saying earlier, my boy Yusuf approached me this summer, all right? And now Yusuf is a professional chef. So this guy can cook anything, he can do anything, he can make magic happen, literally make giant anything out of thin air. So the whole intention was Yusuf and I were gonna be hanging out a little bit more so that he could be helping me out with my YouTube videos. Bringing us all back to the whole point of me filming again because that was the goal. I wanted to be in the right mental space for me to film, but at the same time, I just wasn't there quite yet. So Yusuf and I started talking about all the different possibilities of videos that I could be filming, what I could be doing to make my current videos better, how I could be strategizing a little bit more culinary wise. Now this had nothing to do with the business of YouTube. This was all about how I was gonna be cooking the videos, how I should be prepping the videos, how I should be executing the culinary of the videos. Now, while we were having our conversation, one of the topics that we did talk about was opening up a restaurant, kind of taking Bongo away from the YouTube and diversifying Bongo a little bit, all right? It's weird to talk about myself in the third person, but that's pretty much how the conversation went down. So while we were talking about, you know, eventually splitting it up and Bongo doing his own potentially hot sauces, Bongo doing his own this and that, one of the things was, yo, Bongo should do his own restaurant. And maybe at first we were just gonna do like a, Bongo opened up his restaurant for 24 hours and it wasn't that serious. It wasn't like it was gonna happen tomorrow or the day after. It was just something that we were gonna do in the long run. While we were having those discussions about all the possible things things that I could be doing. We got approached by a few friends who had a spot on Preston Street here in Ottawa. Now, if you guys don't know what Preston Street is, it's located kind of beside downtown. It's right beside Chinatown. It is a little spot here in Ottawa that people refer to as Little Italy, all right? So we had a spot right prime on Preston and all we had to do was come up with a crazy concept that we can actually turn into something. So at first we were thinking, you know what, maybe we'll do a bakery or maybe we'll do like a little sandwich spot, a little panini spot, but instead we decided to go salads. Now the reason why we did salads Salads is because while I was living in LA, I realized that holy smokes, there are so many salad spots out here. Why aren't there any back at home? And I didn't realize that we were missing any back home until I had to move back in March. And then I was like, bro, one of the main things I miss about LA, aside from obviously the weather, because right now it is currently freezing in Ottawa, but let's not talk about that, is the food, all right? The one thing I missed the most was the food, the, the variations, the flavors, the styles, the cuisines, everything that they had going on there was was absolutely fantastic and some of my favorite spots to eat were salad joints now when I came back here I would go on uber eats I would search salads and I would get a pizza spot not a pizza spot bro They're, they don't have a salad so Yusuf and I decided you know what maybe there is a little space here in Ottawa for a salad joint so we said you know what why not let's go let's open this place up so here we are guys we are finally on Preston Street I made it to the shop and currently I am right in front of my restaurant so without any further ado guys here we go that trucks a buzzkill here we go I introduce to you guys super salads now you guys see the vibes I had to get a beautiful beautiful mural outside uh, just to catch people's attention because you guys see like this is a pretty busy street here in Ottawa this is like the major portion of the street right here there's a comedy club right here but I wanted something to kind of just stick out something that people would look at so here we go we got this big beautiful pink mural now walking inside of the restaurant boom. here we go this is the inside some Dave Chappelle we're about we're about to get copyrighted folks we're, we're definitely getting copyrighted but here it is guys here is the inside of the restaurant before it was this I'll take you guys behind the glass because you guys can see my reflection but before, this was a bar. It was kind of like a little cafe vibe. Nothing was really going on here, so we had to give it a nice little facelift, all right? First thing we did was paint everything white. It was a little bit of gray before, now it is white. We put up this wall with a nice little counter and the plexiglass for <coughs> coffee. Uh, and then we have a little green grass vibe. As well, guys, I wanted to put the menu on a chalkboard. I thought that was a pretty cool vibe. So we have all our salads here displayed on the chalkboard. Nice and beautiful. Shout out to the girl who drew this because your yeah, boy's handwriting looks like chicken scratch. So pretty much guys, it took us about a month and a half to get everything set up, to get everything renovated, and to get ready to rock and roll. Now something that I don't really want to touch on 
and I'll continue the tour right after this little tidbit of information. But on the first day we opened, we had somebody come try burn down our restaurant. Now, I don't really want to shed light on the situation. It's done and over with now. But ultimately, I'll show you guys a little clip. Some guy walks by, he has a jerry can in one hand, the brick in the other, tries to break the glass, doesn't work, and then ultimately decided to just light the porch on fire. But we didn't let that stop us, guys. We were able to kind of get everything fixed. In a week, we had a tremendous amount of donations from the community, and everybody kind of stuck together and brought us back up on our feet. And we were up and running in one week. So we were closed for a week, got our porch fixed, got everything settled up, and we were up and running again in one week. So we finally opened up October 3rd, I think, was our first day and we've been vibing ever since anyway enough of that story let's take you guys behind the plexiglass first things first guys you got to check out the your like super cute sign I got this custom made because of the name super salads I needed something to pop so we put a neon sign against the green grass I love you Anyway, this is the vibe inside of the restaurant. We don't have a lot of space, guys. We're kind of like a food truck, except the truck doesn't move. We're stuck on the ground. All right, this is what we got going on here. This is our little prep area vibes. What does it look like? We're doing some fried chickpeas over here, guys. All right, we have a line fridge for all our toppings. You guys can see the vibes beer toppings in the lime fridge because our salads are super all right they're not just regular salads they're super salads don't ever play yourself we also sous vide our meat guys now if you guys don't know what sous vide is google it because it's gonna blow your mind i had no idea until i found out and then this is our oven where the magic happens but ultimately we have a restaurant now where guys i could be filming a bunch more videos not only can i be filming a bunch more videos guys this restaurant played a huge huge role in making me feel like myself again so Somehow. I don't know why and I don't know how but for some reason once we kind of dove into this project your boy started feeling like himself again and there's a camera in my hand so enough said all right the man of the hour chef Yusuf yo show him the merch dog show him the merch you see the super you okay you see okay super salads on the sweater okay let me see the hat oh my god oh my god what are, i heard about something about a phone case what's going on here not ready you guys doing something without me knowing ah, okay geez. okay so you see the vibe the guys are decked out guys but this is yusuf all right this is the guy hello i was telling you guys about this is the boy who approached me and kind of switched everything upside down all right flip the life upside down now all of a sudden we're working at a restaurant and honestly this life's crazy you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of yusuf in the future like i was saying he's the guy who's going to be helping me out doing all my cooking videos and executing the culinary practices that we need to be executing so that i don't get people commenting bongo you cut the chicken wrong no from this point on there's no more cutting chicken wrong all right right yusuf right exactly all right guys, I wanted to bring you back to the menu for a quick second and talk about what we did over here. Now this menu was designed by obviously uh, Yusuf. I played a big role in designing it too, but this guy's the recipe genius, all right? All I did was look cute, he came up with everything else. But we have six different salads, all right? Six different pre-designed salads that you guys can order. They all come with an array of different ingredients. As you guys can see, this is a popular one, our halloumi, chickpeas, tossed arugula, garlic, squash, pickled red onions, pine nuts, sumac, pita chips, halloumi, holy halloumi, it's crazy. We got an Asian inspired one, a Norwegian one with some salmon, all right? We got a burrito style, and then we got the super Caesar a buffed up Caesar like you've never seen before and ultimately if you guys are picky if you guys are picky and you don't know what you want to eat then let me introduce you to the DIY section all right you can DIY your own super salad all right beer options on the DIY all right the, we got the crazy bases the protein the topping free crunch on every salad guys you get a free crunch and all our dressings are house made all of these beautiful vibes are made right here inside of super salads what we wanted to do guys is create something that is healthy refreshing and not really processed everything that we get is fresh produce all the dressings we make are made from scratch and everything in here is nice and healthy and mm, 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 scrumptious so that's it guys there is a little tour of super salads now i'm sure you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of super salads in the future like i was saying i could be filming a lot more videos in this area i could be doing a lot more stuff in this space so thank you to everybody who's been listening to me rant this entire video you guys got an update on what i've been up to since 2018 and why i've disappeared off youtube for a bit and why i am so excited to be coming back finally guys i am in a point in my life where i'm feeling happy again i am feeling like myself 
So smash the like button just for your boy Bongeezy putting a smile on everyone's faces, including his own for once. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I was saying, I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos this month. So if you guys have an idea for a video you guys would like to see on this channel, make sure you leave a comment down below and hey, your idea might just make it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, take it easy. It's Bongeezy!